Hi, welcome back. In my previous video about Armbian on Lay Potato, I got this comment here. Yeah, they're asking me if SSH works in Raspberry Pi OS. And I scratched my head thinking, did I configure SSH? Well, today's episode is going to be all about configuring SSH in Raspberry Pi OS on Lay Potato. I expect that it'll work. Okay, so first off, I want to tell you that the best way to configure SSH on Raspberry Pi OS is before you actually deploy the image, you want to use the Raspberry Pi Imager. So here I am, I'm opening up Raspberry Pi Imager. Yeah, lay potato 64 bits. We're going to pick the Raspberry Pi OS bullseye. You want the full desktop 64 bit. And you click on the little gear over there, and you can enable SSH, and set a username and password. Now, I'll, I'll touch on it later on in the video. There's an article that basically from Raspberry Pi is saying they got rid of the default Pi user. So you have to create a named user to use SSH. Now, another way to configure SSH is using Raspberry Pi configuration. So that was start, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, click on interfaces, and you just switch on SSH right there. On the command line, let's see, you can go sudo raspy-config. There we go. Line three is interface options. There we go, SSH. Yes, we want to enable SSH. And SSH server is enabled. Okay, there's also the command line. This is systemctl. So sudo systemctl, that's all one word. And enable SSH. Okay, so it's enabled. Now we're going to start the SSH service sudo systemctl start ssh so that's four different ways of configuring <laughs> ssh on uh, raspberry pi os like i say using the setup and imager is the best way because then it's working by default out the gate there yeah here's that article talking about how they did away with the default pi user it's being removed you'll have to create a user the first time you boot into a newly flashed Raspberry Pi OS image. So you can do that in advance using Raspberry Pi Imager for compatible images. Okay, well, we'll see how to add a user. So we're going to do sudo add user, and this guy's going to be named Regular Joe. I'm already on here as Shitoku Tech. You can see my name's in the command prompt there. So sudo add user regular Joe. First, I've got to enter the password twice. There we go. And then there's some additional details you can enter that are optional. Full name. You can just hit enter and pass these up. Room number, work phone, home phone, other. Yeah, is the information correct? Yes, it is. So we're going to go see if we can log into SSH using the regular Joe account we just created. Going to go over to my PC and the, oh yeah, you want to hover down here and you can get your IP address there the, by the little network symbol there by the clock. You can also use ifconfig. There we go, 192.168.1.22. Don't you be trying to SSH to my Raspberry Pi. Actually, it's a lay potato. Someone corrected me in the comments because I kept saying la potato, and yeah, <laughs> busted. There's not many French people here. They mostly speak Spanish, so <laughs> la, but so lay potato. Here we go. I'm on my PC, and SSH is installed by default. You just use PowerShell, so SSH, regular Joe, at 192.168. Dot one dot twenty two. Enter. Okay, let's put in the password. And we're in. 
Okay. So SSH is working on Lay Potato in Raspberry Pi OS. We have a couple of other questions because the comment that the person left was talking about root access works fine. And I'm just not sure that we want to allow root login access on SSH because that's just another, you know, common, commonly known username that people would be password spraying to get it onto your Raspberry Pi or your La Potato. This says if you go into SSH config, there's this permit root login, and you could set it to yes, and that would allow root to log into SSH. Let's take a look. So we go sudo, nano, etc. Well, slash, etc. Slash SSH slash SSH underbar config. And I'm going to scroll through here. Oddly, I don't see that <laughs> enable root access line in here anywhere. By the time I scroll to the bottom and realize it's not there. I mean, I guess you could type it in if it's not there. I just don't know whether you'd type it in and put the hash sign in front or not. Am I missing something? I'll even search for root right now. So, control W. Root. And root is not found anywhere here. Okay. So, my guess is root cannot SSH right now. Because there's no line that would enable it saying yes. Okay, so I do want to go ahead and set the root password to something because we're going to try SSH with the root account and see if it works or not. So, sudo passwd username and enter a new password. And enter it again. Alright, so we know the root password now, so let's head over to that PC in the other room and do Again, we're using PowerShell, and all you have to do is type ssh root at that IP address. Hit enter, enter that password. And it does not like me. Permission denied. I seem to recall reading something about permission to the home folder. But again, I don't want root being able to SSH onto my lay potato, so I'm not worried about it. I don't want to fix this. Just as a test, we'll log in as regular Joe again, just to make sure we haven't broke something. SSH, regular Joe, at 192.168.1.22. Enter the password. And regular Joe is in. So we learned four different ways to install and configure SSH in Raspberry Pi OS for the lay potato. And it works. Okay. Wow, check out this deal on Amazon. This is the lowest price ever. You're getting the heat sink, the Wi-Fi dongle, and the lay potato for $40. And there's a $5 off coupon. So you might want to check that out. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Lay Potato videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.